Alrighty, what's happening, guys? Cousin Taylor here with a quick update for Tuesday, June 6. And my apologies for not getting a weekend video posted. It was my wife's birthday, so, you know, priorities. But, alright, guys, before we jump into the market, kind of get you caught up to speed here. So, let's see. Um, Thursday of last week, we had sold some put credit spreads here in MSTR. All right, you got the daily squeeze. We had some buy signals. We're hanging out above that 21 EMA, which to me, of course, is my favorite setup. The high probability moment in time where that daily squeeze should quickly fire to the upside. So then on Friday morning, the thing starts to misbehave a little bit, and I've got a zero tolerance policy for any kind of funny business. So Friday morning, oops, all right, here we go. So Friday morning, MSTR breaks under the 21. It canceled out all the buy signals, and it actually printed a sell signal on the 15 minute, uh, the 15 minute, the five minute, and the 30 minute. So at that point, off with its head. Took that trade off with, uh, with zero hesitation. All right, the whole goal here, guys, with the, uh, with the indicators, the signals, the squeeze first focus is I'm trying to find that moment in time where everything is locked and loaded, right? It should be go time. Find your squeeze, find a bunch of buy signals pretty quickly. Things should be moving in your favor. So I've got a zero tolerance policy for pretty much anything other than... for pretty much anything other than what it should do. All right, you're under that 21 spitting out some sell signals. Misbehaving a little bit too much. So we took that trade off for a small loss. And we have since avoided a lot of back and forth. But more importantly, taking that small loss, that's what allows you to keep your profits from uh, from the trades that work. The tough thing, of course, is you're, uh, you're a human being. So you start playing the, uh, the hope and pray game. You start smoking a little bit of a hopium joint. All right, well, the trades aren't working. Um, it's coming against me. Every reason that I took the trade to begin with is uh, <laughs> is no longer valid, but but I've got plenty of time till expiration. But uh, I've got to put credit spread. I only need it above 280. You, you keep on playing that butt game, you're going to lose your ass. So we took off MSTR, and then as far as our newest trades here, we bought some Shopify yesterday. So for Shop here, we're playing the Daily Squeeze. And not a bad showing here today. Up 6% on the day. So daily squeeze. Buy signals on the weekly chart. The 2 hour, the 1 hour, the 30, and the 15. And on this bad boy, we're looking for a breakout. You know, we might take profits off the table around 65. But I think you got the, uh, the triple S. The structure, the squeezes, and the signals. To potentially trigger a nice breakout here. So we're liking some shop, and then this afternoon, we picked up a little bit of this Zoom here. Got ourselves a brand new daily bull squeeze in Zoom. So big three indicator is bullish on the daily chart down to the 30 minute. And you got that bull squeeze on your daily chart and your 30 minute. So pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Looking for that daily squeeze to fire along. And the target on the trade is a push back towards that 200 SMA. 72.5, and, and then the exit on the trade is a pushback under that 21 EMA. Right? Nice and simple. So we got some zoom, we got some shop, and then for uh, Mama Market, Big Mama herself, S&Ps are looking pretty good here, guys. Looking pretty good indeed. So a couple key levels, All right, 4300, and then 4325. 43.25 being the August highs. So until proven wrong, we might not break out initially. Like we might fail the first attempt and then pull back a little bit. But until proven wrong, I think you're looking to buy that pullback. With the thinking that we do break through that level. And I think potentially trade, uh, trade a good deal higher here, guys. And that thinking just comes from the squeezes. So the squeeze here off the daily chart. Fired long one, two, three, four, five days ago. The bull squeeze here on your two-day chart. 
just officially begins to fire along today. So that party just started. And then Big Willie. Big Willie the Weekly Squeeze. Officially begins to fire to the upside this week. So as always, if that Weekly Squeeze here can work as advertised, we should be looking for a lot more uh, gas in the tank. So maybe we don't break out initially. Maybe we get a little bit of a flush. But until proven wrong, as long as the... Uh, as long as structure holds up on that flush, I would look to buy it with the thinking that four, six, eight weeks down the road, the weekly squeeze continues to fire along, and we should be trading a good deal higher. And of course, I could be uh, dead wrong. So we'll keep on taking things day by day. But the S&Ps are looking pretty sharp here. And then a couple more picks for you guys. Um, one name that's really strong right now is Tesla. So we traded this last week. We uh, we took that dip down towards that daily AEMA. We're buying some calls back here. And we took that trade off at that 200 SMA. And now she's trading a good 20 bucks higher. Um, but here's the thing with Tesla. Here's what's got my ears perking. My tail wagging a little bit. Brand new weekly squeeze. Which, uh... I think it's something to get excited about. So brand new weekly squeeze, but more importantly, everything inside that weekly squeeze, your daily chart, your four hour, your two hour, everything's pretty solid here. Now, is this the uh, the best spot to get super heavy in Tesla? All right, maybe not. Like, uh, like a lot of things out there, it's a little extended. But like I just told you on the S&Ps, if you do get a dip, and all the structure holds up, all the signals hold up, I think you're trying to buy that dip with the idea that eventually here that weekly squeeze fires to the upside. And from there, it should trigger a, a pretty nice push. So Tesla's pretty interesting. Um, I don't get any Tesla just yet. And then Netflix here. You're hanging right around that 400 level, right up under that weekly 200, but same thinking. This weekly bull squeeze officially fired long last week. So it's only week number two. And if you can get a flush here, structure holds up, the signals hold up, I think you look for continuation from that weekly squeeze. All right, everything works as advertised. That should be good for uh, a little bit more oomph. But there you have it, guys. Short and sweet tonight. But as far as the, uh, the things we've kind of been focusing on for the last few weeks here, mainly the squeezes and the S&Ps, things continue to shape up pretty good. So... On my end, no changes in the game plan just yet. As always, I will keep you all updated. But for now, we are rocking with some Shopify, a little bit of Zoom, and the uh, the week is young. So we'll see what's setting up here tomorrow. But as always, I appreciate you all watching. If you haven't already, go on ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Adios.